Hey everyone, I'm Jen with jenconodal.com and I have a big goal um, that I've given myself in seven days. I'm, I've written an ebook, it's almost done, but for some reason I'm procrastinating, I'm, I'm overanalyzing, I've got analysis paralysis as they say. So um, I did a little research on how I can accomplish just some, some good tips for accomplishing a goal in seven days and wouldn't you know it, I came up with seven tips. Now, just creating these tips could be some form of procrastination, but mark my words, that ebook is going to be up in a week. So, um, the first thing is to keep your word to yourself. I think this is something that uh, is often overlooked just when I think about that. You know, if I had promised a client that I would get this to them, or if I had promised someone that I care about that I would get this completed by a certain day, it would have been done already. But the problem is, I don't always keep my word to myself. And uh, when you think about it that way, you really should, right? I mean, you gotta value yourself. You gotta keep your own promises to yourself. So, um, so that's uh, number one. Number two is make it a SMART goal. Um, if you haven't heard of this acronym, you should go check it out. Um, so SMART stands for, the first one is specific, M is measurable, the A is attainable, the R is, I don't know what the R is. <laughs> realistic and uh, the T is timely so um, I'll put a link below to um, another post that explains specifically what a smart goal is but basically get specific um, you know not I'm going to get my ebook done I'm going to get my ebook done by Friday morning at 8 o'clock so um, the third one is accountability so that's what I'm doing right now um, I have let some important family members know that it will be done by Friday um, and that's good. It's good because they've already kept me accountable because all this time I've been saying it'll get done and uh, they're like, when? When? So now I have a when. Friday, 8 a.m. That's when. Um, fourth one, give yourself a reward and or punishment. So uh, this works really well for me. Um, at one point in completing a draft, my brother told me, uh, suggested that if I didn't get it done by the date that I set, that I would um, have to clean a friend's toilet, bathroom. And I don't like cleaning, and I definitely do not like cleaning toilets. And I definitely do not like cleaning toilets that aren't mine. So uh, long story short, I got that first draft done in time, so the fear of the punishment was pretty strong. And um, this week I'm thinking that I get it done on Friday, I'm taking a road trip. So I have a, but I'm not going to take it if I don't go. So it's both a reward and a punishment. Uh, five, make a checklist, you know, um, really get specific about the steps that you need to know what the goal is, okay, what needs to happen, right? Just because. I wrote the book doesn't mean that the book cover is going to come together magically or that the formatting is going to be as easy as I perceive it to be. Um, so make a checklist so that I know what all the steps are so I don't get procrastinate to the last day and then realize, ah, there's all these steps I didn't think about. Um, the sixth is use apps or tools and I will definitely be doing that. Um, I like to use the... Um, I have a Pomodoro app, which basically suggests that you work very consistently for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break and you just keep doing that. And you have to take that break and you have to focus. And something about, it's got a little tick, tick, tick. And uh, something about that sound really kind of keeps me focused, right? It's only 25 minutes. Just focus for 25 minutes and then you get a break. And then you're kind of fresh and then you can come uh, focus again. So of course I'll be using um, Spotify to listen to uh, my classical brain music. It's, I, I promise it helps me think. Um, definitely be using my calendar to give myself any kind of relevant reminders. So I'm gonna be all over using whatever tools I have at my disposal to make this happen. And the last thing is 
get over yourself. Uh, I'm really talking to myself. I think part of the reason that I've been procrastinating as long as I have is that it's my first ebook. I want it to be perfect. You know, uh, the, the more I read it, the more I'm like, oh, maybe I should write about something else. Maybe my first book should be about this. Maybe that. Maybe it's not good. Maybe it's going to come out and then something new and cool that I don't even know about is going to come out. But um, I need to get over myself and get it out there because uh, revisions are easy. You know, someone said something about... Um, Genius is in the completion. So get it done, right? Then no, no better for the next time. So those are my seven tips to accomplishing a short-term goal, i.e. seven days. So um, I'd love to hear any tips that you use. Um, once I master these small goals, I'm going to start creating some real big goals. So I've been doing pretty well my whole life, uh, just kind of floundering around, but uh, everything I read says set goals, write them down, stick to it, and accomplish more. And that's what I'm all about. So thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear your feedback, and I'll see you next time.